Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Joy Energy Tarot and welcome back uh, any viewers and any new viewers. So I hope this resonates with you and if it does push like and also I have videos that you may find interesting on Joy Energy Tarot on um, YouTube. And if you want private readings I can do them too. It's Joy Energy Tarot at gmail.com Okay, so let's get on with it. Tonight we're talking about the number one or the number ten and what they what it actually means. And um, so if you're born on the first or the tenth or the nineteenth or the twenty-eighth, you are a very strong individual. You um, are independent, you know your own mind, no one can boss you around and tell you what to do. You like to do things your own way, independently. And also too, you are a really um, big thinker. So things will go round and round in your head and you can solve problems and often in a unique way that other people haven't thought of. But the downside to that is that um, if you're upset about things, the problems will go round and round and round in your mind and uh, it, they can really upset you. So that's where it's best to write down problems, um, the pros and cons of each side of an argument or a choice so that um, it gets it out of your head, okay? Hi Dom and Raf, I can see you. <laughs> well, no, I can't, I can see your message. <laughs> yeah, so if you're a one person, um, write down any problems because you do overthink things. Yes, Dom, that's you. <laughs> if you've got lots on your mind, you know. Hi Cassidy. Um, yeah, so the other thing with ones is because you do have an active mind, you need to have time out in nature somewhere. So whether it's being at the beach or in the bush or somewhere like that, um, to revitalise your energy. And because you can be prone, possibly when you're older, to heart problems if you don't rest. Okay? Now, um, I'm just looking at some notes and things here. You can be quite domineering and you have a strong will, high Wendy, and have a very strong will, and but no one will be able to push you around, which is one really good thing. And you like to be first and you like to be the best. Um, you find it actually quite easy to visualise and you would have a natural tendency towards clairvoyance if you wanted to follow that. But you're very practical and you're good at organising others. You like to be the boss and be in charge so you have no problem delegating, which is wonderful. Um, because you are a strong person, you're a natural leader, but you will attract other strong people as well. But this is to um, build up your self-esteem. You know, they might try to dominate you, but this is to make you stronger and to build up your own self-esteem. So, um... If it's your life path, now your so that was if it was your birthday and that's on a daily basis. Now if it's your life path, which is when you add all your birth date together, and if it comes to a one or a ten, um, you're here to learn about independence, um, to think for yourself and to go it alone. You, it will be you'll be successful whatever path you choose, as long as you overcome any self-limiting beliefs because some people do lack confidence and they do put barriers up and um, have these limiting beliefs thinking oh, I can't do this and I can't do that but when you've got ones in your chart especially with the life path you can do it you know you you can it's the same with um, even on the daily basis it's having that confidence in yourself really and um, you've got such a quick brain you'll find new and innovative ways of doing things okay um, you can actually be a pioneer in your field as well. You're focused enough to run your own business too. Okay, so that's about the, t the um, tens and or one. A ten is probably a bit stronger than a one because a ten is, has hit the zero as well and the zero is like um, a direct line to heaven or the spirit world. So uh, you've got that connection as well as with just the one. Ones can sometimes be a bit self-centered or a bit selfish, you know, or self-focused is a nicer way of putting it. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Which in lots of ways can be really good, okay? 
So uh, now let me see, I've asked for some guiding cards too and uh, to get people through, you know, this time of the year because it is a bit stressful for some of you. So today I've used um, Keepers of the Light, these lovely uh, cards here, and asked for a guiding card. So the card today is Kathumi. Right, let's see if we can, the light's not that good in here, is it? So there he is, look at him. Isn't he awesome? So, Kathumi, what that means is, sorry, I've got to use a torch here because I'm in my tent. <laughs> um, knowledge is learned, wisdom is remembered. You are in a real cloak of wisdom now. Like Kathumi, you've been on a wandering path trying to find answers through study and the insights of others. But now you're uncovering the truth of your own soul. Your soul is leading the way and you're being encouraged to follow. The fog is clearing, the light has come and it is shining on you. Your soul is saying, yes, it's your cheerleader. Follow it and trust the endless wisdom within you. Go, go, go. So there you go, whatever you're trying to do or whatever you're trying to achieve, don't hold yourself back because you've got the ability to make it happen and to do it. Okay, and I'll just try and get this light a bit better. That's a little bit better, there you go. Alright, so lovely Louise, hey, I always love her cards, so um, I'll get a bit closer, that might be better. Um, so Louise's card for today is, I am a harmonious being. Isn't that gorgeous? Lovely colours. I am a harmonious being. So what she's telling you is, um, I am in harmony with all of the people, places and things that surround me in this world. I am at peace. So that's just a reminder to um, be harmonious within yourself. So don't buy into other people's negative thinking or um, other people's arguments or any fighting that might be going on around you or gossip that might be third hand and not true whatsoever. So um, it's telling you just to be at peace within yourself and then you'll feel a lot calmer and then you're able to cope with the things that come your way. Okay, so we'll have a little guiding message too from the divine, divine directions. We'll ask for a, um, a guiding message from there too because they're quite nice. Okay, can we please have, spirit, can we please have, oh, one flew out straight away, I didn't even have to ask for much. Home. Okay, home. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move home. So I don't know if that, uh, relate, if any of you can relate to that. I know it's time for me to move home. <laughs> I've got a motor home on order, but they can't tell me when. So this is my little wee furry. And I've got the sunset at my door, so I'm very, very blessed. I'm very lucky. And I've got a roof over my head, and it doesn't leak. So I'm, I'm lucky. And does anybody want to ask any questions about numbers? You can just type them in there, this live messages. Okay, we'll just go for one more divine guiding um, card then. Can we have another card, please? What else do people need to know? Can we have a divine message, please? Actually, I know that Raf, if you're still watching, you love the Frida cards, don't you? So we'll pull out um, one of the Frida cards because they're quite nice as well. I've got my little box here um, with all my cards in it, so I've got lots to choose from. So these ones are gorgeous messages and all the art on them is inspired by Frida. Okay, so we'll just have a shuffle. Right, can we have a guiding message please? I think my batteries are going flat. Had the lights on too long. <laughs> can we have a guiding message for it, please? A guiding message from Frida. Can we have a lovely guiding message for people for today, please? For the number 10 day. Can we have a guiding message? Can we have a guiding message? Well, none of them, whoops. So I was going to say none of them jumped out, but then about 10 of them jumped out, of course, because it's the 10th. Right. One more. Another shuffle, thank you. And this one. There's the lovely artwork. And it says, As you must serve everything you create, it's a good idea to do so with love and integrity. 
So this sort of goes hand in hand with the other one too about I'm a harmonious being. So do everything with a nice positive intent and um, walk away from situations where people rub you up the wrong way. Although we must, um, we must learn uh, from these lessons, you know. Um, yes, it is lovely, isn't it? Do you want another one? Of course you do. You're the ideal person to wear the headgear that, that she's always got beautiful hats and beautiful flowers and things like that. Okay, we'll have a card, please. A lovely, lovely card from Frida, please. Another one from Frida. What else can you tell us? So, one more, please. There we go. Oh, it's two. Good. There we are. Look at the hair or the head deck. <laughs> That's okay. You see, you are stronger than you think, more than you know. Be curious and determined. Okay, so that's for everybody. We often think we can't cope with things and we're not strong enough, but we're actually a lot stronger than what we think we are. And here's the next one. Oh, she hasn't got any hat on this time. Actually, that's a different one, isn't it? Because usually she's got the eyebrows meeting in the middle and all the, um, the hair on top. So the hair's down here. Maybe this is her when she's younger. Connect to your inner sense of the beauty of wisdom, being grateful for your whole journey. So look at the big picture and be really grateful for your life and everything that's happening. It always is falling into place. Yes, Hayley, they are interesting cards, aren't they? There, they're, um, so it's a little pack like that. As soon as I saw it, I couldn't resist it. I can't even remember where I saw it now. Oh, I think it was in just a, a witchy poo shop here in Napier. And I like these little ones. It's a bit like um, these ones too, because they don't cost a lot of money. And they have quite cool messages, you know. Um, and they're nice to shuffle. Like these ones have got, yeah, the lovely pictures on the front. The lovely artwork. Whoops, upside down. Well, I haven't put them up. Oh. I've shuffled them all around different ways, of course. See, lovely, lovely artwork. And then they have the nice messages as well. Yeah, look. Oops. Yeah, see? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so these are lovely, and they're, they're, these are the sort of cards, too, that people can buy for themselves. The same with um, Louise Hay. Any, any of these cards that are guiding angel cards or whatever, um, you know, if you struggle on a day-to-day -day basis to um, work out what you want and make decisions, yes, they are cool, cool cards, aren't they, Wendy? I love them. Um, Cards these days are too big for my little hands, but they are perfect. Yes, I've got little hands too. So even my normal cards, I shuffle, um, or those ones that are, oh, where are they? So these, um, like these big things here, I shuffle, I always shuffle them lengthways. Even my own cards that I use all the time, I can't, there's no way, I can't even hold them that way. Just no way I ever can. So I usually go like that. But any cards that you see, I'll just give you a little hint here. If you're in a shop or a bookshop and you see some cards that you, you think you'll like, you, you pick them up and then you hold them against your chest like this and then you say, are these cards good for me? And stand still and say, are these cards good for me? And if they're good for you, you'll go like this. You automatically lean forward and, hang on, that's a bit better and if they're no good for you you'll go backwards and if it's neutral sideways and so you've got to word it you can say are these good for me or would these be good for me or do I need these just work out a, an, an easy simple way of doing it and um, I've done that with books too like I, because often the books are wrapped up you know and in cellophane and they can't open them in the shop and then you can't look at them to decide whether you like them or not so um, that's what I've learned to do. There is a proper name. Yeah, really. You can do that with medicine too and vitamins, you know. 
will these vit are these vitamins good for me or do I need vitamin B say say you hold the bottle of vitamin B do I need these or are these good for me yeah and it, it's amazing as someone taught me that and actually I'd been taught it a long time ago and then I was in a shop looking at cards and I asked the lady I said can you open them and she and she said to me no use now it's not telepathy but or psychometry but it's some word like that and I went oh god that's right I'd forgotten about that and that's what I did so I often stand in shop hold, shops holding cards holding books looking like an idiot and just um, rocking backwards and forwards because some look really cool on the outside and then when you actually hold them they go no they're not good for you or, or for me I say well these help um, the people I'm help, you know talking to will these be good for helping the universe or whatever and um, no and so luckily these ones that I've got obviously have all said yes yeah so it's interesting so it's learning about using your own um, intuition I think I don't know why your body leans forward but it does yeah so you can have a go at practicing that at home um, you know with something something that you're thinking like a cake is this good for me? <laughs> Is this Whitaker's cake of chocolate good for me? <laughs> yeah, so, um, oh, do I need this cake of chocolate? Well, see, the answer could be yes, because you might have run out of energy. <laughs> so don't make yourself go forward. Just um, stand neutral and just f feel it, okay? Okay, folks, I think that would probably be enough for tonight. And I'll see if I can come back to not tomorrow night and talk about 11, because 11's a really important number. It's a, a master number, and it's a bit different from all the other numbers. Um, if you've got an 11 in your chart, it's really, really important. Okay, people, um, blessings to you all, and have a wonderful day tomorrow. Think positive. So if anyone rubs you up the wrong way, just remember it's their problem, not yours. And don't take it on board, because we have to keep calm at the moment in December because there's usually so much happening with presents and functions to go to and people putting demands on you and um, yeah yes Wendy yeah yeah you will be able to do it easily because you're a gifted psychic intuitive lady so a woman so you'll find that real easy just don't fall over and don't <laughs> don't do it while plugged into your machine <laughs> good night Hayley see you tomorrow Okay, blessings to everybody. Love and light. Bye.